Congressman Walsh, always great to talk to you and have you on the show. Happy August. Good to be with you, Jenny. You and your colleagues are now taking the attorney general to federal court to try to get a judge to force him to turn over the documents you've been asking for for months. Is it fair to say the attorney general brought this on himself? Oh, absolutely. I mean, again, it's always helpful with Fast and Furious to step back um, and, and remind ourselves that our, our government, our U.S. government, forced licensed American gun dealers to sell thousands of weapons to Mexican drug cartels, turned the other way, purposely stopped tracing those weapons. Those weapons turned up at the scenes, killing hundreds of Mexicans and killing border agent Brian Terry. And two years later, the attorney general, Eric Holder, will not at all cooperate us with us in finding answers to this. And, and it forced us this summer to take a very dramatic step of holding him in contempt. It just makes no sense to me. He's got no one to blame but himself. You know, and one of the key issues, I know you're trying to find out why it took 10 months to withdraw yeah. that infamous February 4th letter sent to Senator Grassley, which the DOJ then, you know, falsely claimed they never let guns walk. What will this lawsuit do? to help you get a hold of those documents finally? Well, it's the, Virginia, it's the only pathway we've got left to us to try to get a hold of those documents. And, and look, that, that's all, that's, we've narrowed the search down to just that. Just show us the documents after that February 4th letter. Uh, we want to try to figure out why it took them 10 months to say they were inaccurate or lying in what they told us in February. Uh, we have no other route to take. Now, unfortunately, this, this filing, this civil claim here, this is going to take a while. This is going to take months because you know they're going to stonewall. But our only recourse was to put this in the legal system. And as you pointed out in your press release yesterday, it's a sad commentary to know taxpayers are going to have to pay this kind of money to get to the truth because of what the administration has done as far as covering up. Well, and, and, you know, you, you saw Nancy Pelosi and the ranking member on the committee, Congressman Cummings, you know, bemoaning yesterday how this is going to take, you know, tax dollar, taxpayer dollars and distract us from the real work. Uh, it wouldn't have to. We wouldn't have to spend money on this if the administration has, had cooperated with us. And, and it, it still begs the question, why isn't Eric Holder cooperating and as importantly, why did the president at the very last second exert executive privilege? The fact that the president is using executive privilege and he vo invoked it at the last minute, yeah. um, you know, and they, they, here they are. They had to withdraw a letter sent to a senator because it was filled with lies. Yeah. Wouldn't this even prevent him from, from executive privilege applying? Because it, you can't use it to cover up a wrongdoing. Uh, well, one, he can't cover it. To, he can't use it to cover up a wrongdoing. And, uh, Jenny, hopefully we will get to the bottom of that. Uh, but then there's also the second question. He's, he and Eric Holder have both claimed from day one uh, that the president, Eric Holder and the president, never discussed Fast and Furious. The president did not know of Fast and Furious. So why then exert executive privilege over communications that you claimed before never existed yeah. unless you're trying to obstruct an investigation and finally as you say you cannot exert executive privilege to uh to cover up any wrongdoing you know i was watching congressman ice on fox news last night and he told greta that the judge who's going to handle this case is an obama appointee yeah, yeah. Does, does that concern you in any way yes <laughs> Short answer, yes. Uh, just like it concerned us that the Department of Justice wouldn't do what was right and, mm -hmm. and investigate this. So same thing. It's just one more potential roadblock we have to deal with. But I'll tell you, Chairman Ice is pretty darn determined, as is Speaker Boehner, to get answers for the Terry family and everybody else. Yeah. And as I understand it, the judge could ask, though, for a list of all the documents that you haven't received. So, hey, Jenny, the judge, the judge could ask for anything. Yeah. The judge could do darn near anything. 
and those would have to be provided for. Uh, the fear is uh, that this judge may not go down that road. That's certainly what we're going to insist upon. What do you say when, when the, a spokesman for the Justice Department tells the Wall Street Journal, and I'm quoting, the department, DOJ, was always willing to work with the committee. Instead, the House and the committee have said they prefer to litigate. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of sad, and it's kind of the tone that Eric Holder took. I mean, when you go way, way back, remember we requested almost 80,000, 90,000 documents and we were given about six to 7,000, and much of that material was redacted. So, look, it's clear. I mean, they haven't cooperated from the beginning, um, and it's really unfortunate because our government did a very, very bad thing, and I believe they did this bad thing to give guns a bad name, and the result of this bad thing was Brian Ferry died and hundreds of Mexicans died, and what did we find out last week? Again, did we hear that some of the fast and furious guns were used in assassination attempts down in Mexico mm-hmm. of high level officials? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and it really is amazing considering the fact that you've got an administration that has let it go this far. And yet you've got a media like NBC News last night that didn't even report that you yeah. guys filed this lawsuit. I mean, this is yeah. a huge. This is a this is a huge issue. We're talking about, you know, the legislative branch challenging the executive branch, and the, it, it doesn't it, even make headlines. It's like what it's, it's what I say every time I'm at a town hall because Jenny, these questions come up from constituents at town halls. They want to know where we're going, what's going on with Fast and Furious, and I always say, can you just imagine this for George W. Bush mm-hmm. and his Attorney General? This would be on the nightly news every single night for a year. Yeah. Uh, but this media is protecting this president, uh, and they're going to continue to do that and make this an absolute non-story and hope that it never comes up before the election. So, Congress, are you expecting this is going to be a long and an expensive process? I mean, how, how soon do you think this judge is going to move on this? Uh, my hunch is it's going to take months. I don't know how quickly he'll initiate. Our hope is that he'll at least begin to initiate something fairly quickly. But, um, you know, unless there's much, unless this judge is much more proactive than we think and does the right thing, uh, it this could take months, mm-hmm. uh, a year or two before we even begin to get a semblance of some answers. Yep, and it's all about getting the truth, and they don't want people to know. It's unbelievable. It really is. They don't want people to know. What a shame. Yep. What and, a shame. And you, he's the head law enforcement officer in this country. And you think that would make a difference when people go to the polls, you know? Uh, you, you think it would, but again, because the media hasn't talked about this at all, there's a great swath of people out there that just don't know what Fast and Furious is. Yeah. People who believe in freedom, people who believe in their Second Amendment rights, and people who are outraged at how this president has stepped all over the Constitution, uh, they get it, and they're concerned about this. Well, before I let you go, speaking of the election, uh, Mitt Romney announced his running mate, picking Congressman Paul Ryan. Your reaction when you heard the news this weekend? Uh, Congressman Ryan's a good guy. He's awful good on the gun issue. And you know what? He's also good on the most important issue this country faces right now, which is the fact that we're broke. Uh, we have a government that's living beyond its means. And if we don't turn this around really quickly, our kids and our grandkids will never forgive us. So hopefully the nomination of Paul Ryan will force President Obama and Democrats to talk about these issues because They don't want to talk about this stuff. So I think it's a really good pick. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the difference it makes in the swing states, which is so important, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh